92. It's the Eagles. Get over it. 26 minutes before 6, it's the brand new Power 92 morning show. Audie Lenz, Diane Brittany. And, well, <laughs> Diane's in here and she's going, well, what am I supposed what to do here this month? What am I supposed to do? First of all, you got to turn up your microphone a little bit. Here? Yeah. There, there we there. go. Yeah, now we're off to a good start. See? She knows. Perfect. It's okay. A little, it's a little bit too loud because that's it. There we that's go. That's fine. Okay. Okay. What am I supposed to tell her? What exactly are you supposed to do? I don't know. We're just a couple of goofs in the morning who... Uh, Trying to have a good time. Yeah. We just we go. play it by ear, wing it. I tell you what, just do the weather for now. There's a little bit of a duty for you. Okay. It, right. it, we're going to have cloudy periods up to six degrees for a high minus four tonight. More cloud tomorrow, high of zero, and flurries falling by tomorrow night. Are you a biker girl? It's currently minus four because I'm wearing an Indian motorcycle. Yeah, um, I just kind of wondered. I'm a wannabe biker girl, maybe. Or is that just because it's a bad hair bad day? Bad hair day. It's it, getting up at 3.30. Are we expecting uh, a lot of bad hair days then in, in the Every day, Audie. Because Every we had day. a guy here before who had perfect hair, yeah, no matter well, what time of the morning it was. I don't know if I can live up to that one. I'm glad, because you know I end up with <laughs> headphone head all the time. So as long as there's something... Lots of hair in here in this, That's this right. morning. That's right. Yeah, no kidding. Now, your microphone's got to be turned on. See, I'm not used to working on this side of the board. No. There we go. Where's your drum? It's over here. Chad's moved it around. Where's your junk? My, you well, got I your got, bag of junk? You got, got your most, sack of stuff? I got mo most of the stuff. junk. But oh, there it is over there. But the guy with the perfect hair took the uh, one whistle that I love. Well, he paid for it himself, so he had a right oh, to yeah, take well. it with him. We'll have to go and buy you a new one. Yeah. <sighs> 24 minutes before 6. What's so what, up, do do? Do, what do we do? Do we fire Damon Allen or what? I don't know. Oh. Do we? Yeah, I think so. Oh, well, he screwed he's up. He's out of here. Time. Yeah, screwed up big time. <laughs> but made a play that none of us would have even have made. We hit him right where it hurts. They were screaming. Exactly. They were hollering. Mm -hmm. Right? We had mm -hmm. short and curlies right there in our fingertips. We had him <laughs> down there. We were up by two. We were down on two. Oh, you know the story. <laughs> A lot of chat now about what happens in those boogers from Calgary. It looks like they're moving on to the Grey Cup. Tell you, as Yogi Berra would never say, it ain't over till the fat person sings. And we're going to see what kind of tune the fat cats and the Liberal Party sing to sign Chatty today. Wasn't that an interesting little debacle they had down in Calgary? Not the football game, although that was a debacle, too, if you're a Saskatchewan <laughs> fan. Man, alive. That looked like something that would take place at Geeners. Uh, Tell us about the debacle. The debacle. Oh, the techno mess? <laughs> no. This is the vote. <laughs> yeah, with this the phones that shut down? Oh, I tell you, they, this was their worst nightmare. Uh, this Freddy Krueger must have been at the phone banks. Uh, they, opened the, they opened the phones up at 6.30 in the morning. Didn't get the final result out till quarter after 5. They, they only had two votes. 11,000 in the first one, 9,000 in the second. You and I could have counted it faster. You've counted quarters faster than that. But they said that it was because the, uh, the phones shut down because everybody decided to vote all at once, wasn't it? I guess. Yeah. I see you had a little cigarette before you came in this morning? That's good for you. I sure did. They say I it's good that. for you now. Mm -hmm. it's good for and you now. Go, get, go get yourself a Snickers and a pack of smokes and you'll be okay. <laughs> All that tension is relieved. <laughs> I understand most women have a couple of Snickers and a smoke after they see Stop! you in action there. I tell you what, Lynn. <laughs> you know, I set myself up for that line. I know I did. How do you get to be part of this? The Associates for Research into the Science of Enjoyment. We should start a chapter here on this very radio station. Mm -hmm. Wouldn't you love to get involved in the research in that little sucker? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> Pleasure in moderation can help reduce stress. Who would have thunk that? John Luke says, trouble is, people have been made to feel guilty about all sorts of pleasure. Have you been made to feel guilty about your sorts of pleasure? Very right? guilty. I'm bad, eh? Bad girl. Of course, some of those would result in charges in some states. He says, society has just become too puritanical. <laughs> it's of no consequence, I am sure, that some of the sponsors for this fine, upstanding study that I back wholeheartedly are Coca-Cola, Nestle, Kraft, and Philip Morris Tobacco Company. No, that's a coincidence. Yeah, that is just a right. Thank you, CR. I think I'll go have a smoke. All right. <laughs> 19 before 6. Uh, we do a thing called the 530 Club uh, Password. I'm not sure if you're aware of it or not, Diane. And any other listeners who are not aware of it, if you're up at 530... What are you doing? Well, first, we just give... <laughs> well, what we give a word, okay? And all, always the word ties in with a birthday that is taking place. So the password this morning, which we will give them, we will ask for after 6 o'clock, is palace. We'll tie it all together. After 6 o'clock, 5.30 Club Password is Palace. 19 before 6. The magic of the Christmas season. Shout the world for you. Power 92. Every song this hour was recorded in the 90s in digital stereo. Believe it or not. How many other Edmonton radio stations can say that?
14 before 6 with Audie and Diane. Power 92 satellite weather. We're going to have a few clouds today up to 6 degrees for a high. Currently, it's minus 4 in Edmonton. Power 92. Toad the wet sprocket. Something's always wrong. 11 minutes before 6. It's Audie and Diane. Okay, I think we should almost take a vote as to how long it's going to be before I screw up the name of the show now. <laughs> yeah. You know, it was eight years together. That's right. And I know it's going to happen. Is it going to happen today, Chad? We'll just write out a big banner and put it up for you. I think that's the thing to do. But I say, uh, okay, let's, let, I say seven. Thursday. Yeah. No, Thursday? <laughs> you, boy, you have more confidence in me than I have. Sucking up. I say, yeah, no kidding. <laughs> you are 7.30 this morning. I'll screw it up. I say before 7. <laughs> really? Sorry Ooh. About. All right. I'll, uh, how about 10 bucks on the line? 10 bucks says, I wait until 7.30. Okay. Okay. Right. 7.30. All right. It's Audie and Diane. Got it. Audie and Diane. Do I look like Rob? No, you don't look anything like Rob. Better hair. No? Huh? Better hair. Much better hair. Well, it's not... It's not <laughs> I'm amazing. wearing a hat. It's, it's it, Yeah, it's covered. It's not perfect hair. You know, like Rob, he, he had perfect hair. But this is, this is longer hair, which fits in better with... Your hair. Myself. It's like two blonde bozos in the morning. <laughs> not that I don't know if you're a bozo or not. I don't know you that well. But I'm only speaking for myself. Okay, one blonde bozo and one we don't know about yet. Nine minutes before six. Power 92 satellite weather. Diane, give it to us. Okay, cloudy periods today up to six degrees for a high minus four tonight. More cloud tomorrow, high of zero. And flurries, that F word, falling by tomorrow night. Currently, it's minus four. She does that well. Obviously, she took a course. The F word. I did on, on weather enunciation. Very good. Thank you. You want to speak to uh, Audie and Diane? i got to get into my brain. Audie and Diane, you can give us a call this morning. 451-8888-451, all eights. It's the Toys and Wheels $10 million toy blowout. Power 92. CKNG 92.5 FM Edmonton. You tell anyone who asks. You're on Power 92. Good morning, I'm C.R. Nichols with a Power 92 News Brief. It's minus 4 degrees, continuing mild today, but cooling off tomorrow with a good chance of flurries midweek. I'm C.R. Nichols. At 6.06, it's minus 4 degrees. Blossoms, Allison Road. Ten minutes after six, it's Audie and Diane. Yes, good morning. It's Power 92. Good morning. Hey, Vern. Yo. How you doing? Not too bad. How about you? Yeah, I recognize your voice. We're fine. <laughs> um, two things. Yes. First of all, are you going to properly induct her? How would that be? Uh, her reading Pete the Snake. Uh, I would, but I don't have a copy of it. Oh, Snake. no. Yeah. She got off lucky. Yes, she did. Well, uh, the guy with the perfect hair took the only copy that was around here. That's too darn bad. Yeah, I wish I did have it, because I, I already thought about that. But I don't have a copy. Oh, wow. Pete the Snake and, and uh, Hissing in the Pit. That's right. Yeah. Well, welcome to her anyways. Thank you very much. And, and uh, did you guys get the banner? The banner? The banner. What banner? Oh, Bug CR. I'd, I'd uh, faxed a, a banner, and I'd, I'd kind of asked that somebody put it together and put it up for you guys in the control room. Oh, well, I'll, uh, uh, over the fax? Yeah. Oh, okay. 28 pages. Whoa. <laughs> okay. <laughs> I mean, it's, it, it can't be misplaced. No, not, not, I don't think so. <laughs> All right. Uh, and it says, morning crew, the next generation. Right on. So. Well, thank you, Vern. Okay. Yeah. All right. Well, good luck to the two of you. I'm, I'm quite sure you'll do quite excellent. No. Thanks, Thanks very much. Adios. Take it easy or take it any way you can. See you, Vern. <laughs> Adios. Bye. 11 minutes after 6. Time for the 530 Club Password. You know it. Give us a call. 451-8888. 451-all-8. It's Tom Cochran. No regrets. Power 92. Power 92. It's Tom Cochran. No regrets. 60 minutes after 6 o'clock. Buddy Lynn's Diane Brittany here. She's trying to get used to each other. Looks like we got some cloudy periods around us for today and tonight. Highs today of plus six degrees. Currently sitting at a... Minus three. Minus three. Minus cool. three. Order the studio lines for the 530 Club password. Hello, is this Heather? Oh, yeah, button down. <laughs> I could hear her. Hello, Heather. Heather. Hello. Me? Yeah, you. Hi. Hi. <laughs> How are you doing? Pretty good. We, we, we had some technical difficulties. That's why we're going live now. And we're going to have a few of them more this morning. Oh, boy. You can count on it. <laughs> yeah. 
Okay, you want the password. The 530 Club password. Palace. Palace. And the reason we picked Palace is because it's uh, Prince Charles' birthday. He's 46 today. Joy. <laughs> happy, happy. <laughs> Actually, we're going to do the uh, Royal Flush a little bit later on this morning. Call Buckingham Palace. See if we can stay on the line for more than 30 seconds. Just see what uh, Prince Jack is up to for his birthday, you know. Heather, how about if we give you a gift certificate? Sure. Where That'd be good. I don't know where it's to. It's a $25 gift certificate from Points West Fashion Outlet, and you also qualify for the grand prize, which is a $920 shopping spree. That's from Power 92 and Points West Fashion Outlet. That was, Thank you. That was Diane, and I'm Audie. <laughs> Just so you know the Just difference so you know the between difference. the two voices, because they sound very familiar, don't they? Very similar. Mm-hmm. Yes. Very. Okay. Okay. Congratulations. Thank you. 17 minutes after 6 o'clock. Air Canada. The Sunday Night Sex Show. Sex therapist Sue Johansson takes your calls live. Sunday evenings between 6 and 8. Exclusively on Power 92. So you passed, right? Yeah, well, yeah, because I forgot what the sign said. <laughs> yeah. So, whoa, I guess I have the wrong judgment call on that sucker. <laughs> foolish crazy that was it that's my observation for the morning it's a good one well it's just i mean who gave these guys if you have to be reminded who gave them a license in the first place that's right yeah <laughs> okay no more observations that's it for today oh, okay. oh except for the goats the goats Do you oh ever, i don't uh, think we want to hear about <laughs> no i don't no, think we is, want to hear about no this. the goats the goats uh, have you ever driven to jasper Yes. Okay, there's one place in Jasper where the rock juts out and the road goes around there. And for some reason... <laughs> that's just one place on the way to Jasper? No, on this one particular... <laughs> because they have a sign there that say, Goats Ahead. Okay. And the goats are always there. No, ma <laughs> It's true, no matter what time of the day or what time of the night, the goats are there. Why do they occupy that one particular... There's nothing there. There's no food there. It's just a rock sticking out in the middle of the highway. But they are always there. Do they send, uh, like, the goat herds send down the, the old guys, you know, is, because they're taking up food, and they say, well, you go down to the rock down there. And, and just stay there. And then they take Maybe the, they keep moving once, the sign, you know. W once they're down at the bottom of the... <laughs> but maybe that's it. Goats ahead. Maybe well, that's I guess it. this is where we're supposed to be. Oh, here we are. Oh, yeah. But I figure they send down the old goats down to the bottom of the rock. Because the they gotta, goats. you know, because you know, the place starts to get, you know, overpopulated right. from time to time. So they send the the old ones down there, and then they have to draw straws and say, "Okay, you go out on the highway, <laughs> see if you get hit." Oh, I think you had way too much time to think on this trip. I think I've had way too much coffee already this morning. <laughs> is what it comes down to. Twenty-seven <laughs> after six. First, God made a man. Power 92, Sarah McLaughlin and Hold On, 27 before 6. Yes, good morning. It's Power 92. Good morning. Hi. This is Who's this? This is Audie, and that's Diane. Oh, good morning, Audie. Hi. Uh, Diane. Hi. Welcome. That's not Thank fair. Thank you very much. We don't know your name. Oh, it's, it's Ken the Dorman from the Western. Oh, hi, Ken. Hi. It's a natural salt lick there. Is it? Yeah. What do you lick? Oh, oh. you dummy. You should have known that. Oh, I should have gotten out of my Jeez. car, licked the road, and said, oh, this is why. <laughs> no, no, no. There's, there's a, a block of salt there. There's, there's a, a natural rock salt on the on that corner there. And so they always gather there. Yeah. But why are there no, for instance, no moose that come down there? Moose don't like salt. Adi, don't you know that? No, I Sorry, I've never... <laughs> uh, I'm not, never is, is that true or are you just making that up? <laughs> I don't know. I have no idea. And so it's a natural... Why aren't there cows there? Salt deposit. Yeah. Well, okay. So why aren't? Because well, there's no. I don't think there's any cows in Jasper. What? Well, but I mean, deer must like salt, don't they? Yeah. Okay. Why I mean, aren't? Why aren't there deer? It's probably is there, territorial. Is, oh, there's a. a well, no, because the deer can read the sign. They say goats ahead, and they go. Oh. <laughs> yeah, well, no, no deer so where's the deer ahead sign? Where? Are, where do we go? They just keep wandering along. Usually, the at the bee is where I go. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. They go in there. They grab the salt shaker and take off. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, Ken. Okay. Well, I'm glad. Uh, now I know. Well, um, it's, it, if nothing else, it's the best lie I can come up with. Ah, so you're making it all up, too. No, no, no. I wouldn't lie to you. Yes, you would. No, I wouldn't. But thank you for the call. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Okay. Bye. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye. 25 minutes before 7 o'clock in from the Power 92 News and Information Center. Good morning, CR. Good morning, Odd. City cops are concerned that they're being left 
outstanding ducks while council cuts budgets to head off a tax increase. They're talking about charging you 75 cents, a blank videotape to cut down on videotaping movies and such as and the liberals bring in new copyright laws. Yeah, another tax. Claim the uh, home taping cost video and movie industry 175 million bucks. Sales and rentals. Not like seeing how your prospective spouse performs before you pop the cue, right? Right. Right. Gotta see how much, test it out. Test see how much stamina they got? Right. See if they can do it underwater, mm-hmm. on a bike. See if they can do it in the road. You never know when that's going to come up. In Mary- what are you looking at me for, Diane? You never know when this is going to come no up. I what you're, you're just about. You're just young and full of hope. My little you're not old and full of experience like me. Stuff. This always comes up. You never do it on the road in your sneakers with me anymore. Uh, that's <laughs> That You've comes heard up. those words before, too. Oh, man, it's just, just written in the back of my skull. You hear it so often, you just turn it on like a record. You're going to find out. You're going to learn. That's the way it goes. So I guess that's what Jay Adams thought. He waited until both he and Deb Sunquist had finished the Ironman Triathlon in Hawaii to propose. They just completed the five-kilometer ocean swim, 250-kilometer bike race, and the marathon. And he did it right then and there. Opened his mouth and out it flew. Jay says, Deb looked a little confused and goofy, but she finally did say yes. <laughs> but there you are. Just a little advice early in the morning. Uh, I'm quite surprised, though. I didn't think anybody had heard those words before. <laughs> Maybe it's just us Saskatchewan boys. That... Oh, yeah. Yeah, you got to kick the gophers out of the way before yeah. you get down to it, though. You don't want to trip. <laughs> well, I don't know. They can keep you warm. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Thank you, CR. 22 before 7. What's this? A surprise? At McDonald's today. Edmonton's new music leader. Power 92. Things haven't been the same. Power 92, it's Madonna and Secret, 16 before 7 with Audie Lenz, Diane, Brittany, and I got a brand new game that I kind of like to play, Diane. It's, uh, oh, what's that? I really haven't come up with much of a, a name for it, but... What do you do? I think for now we'll call it Shock Talk. Shock Talk. Because what we've had is uh, Lester, who's kind of a part-time engineer around here. He does uh, painting, he does uh, some electrical work, Does he knows how to solder. What do we got here, Chris? What'd apples, you bring in? Apples! Apples! Oh, cool. Some girls came in with apples. Wow. Uh, How do you have a better one? Can you, can you taste this for me, Chris? Would you just uh, take a bite out what of it? What, do I look like the Wicked Witch? <laughs> Don't answer that. <laughs> <laughs> Who are they from, though? Pretty. From CP Hotel. Wow. Oh, what's the... What's the uh... Apple Computers. Get it? Isn't oh, that a great nice cat? connection. Ooh, I, I see. I get the one with the nuts on it. Well, do you like the sprinkles? No, I'd rather have nuts. Or maybe you'd well, like your nuts. Wife Would you like nuts? That I think yeah. I mean, <laughs> You take the nuts. Oh, we got other nuts over here. Cool. Wow. That w- I got the combo. I want all Audie's ones. You want all my nuts? Well, no. Is Yours that what you better wanted? than mine. <laughs> <laughs> Forget it. Anyway. Okay, we'll just leave that one flat. <laughs> <laughs> I'm out of here. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, Chris. 15 minutes before 7. Anyway, back to the game. <laughs> yeah. We got Lester to hook up to the uh, telephone line. Uh, well, a small amount of electrical current. You know how you take a 9-volt battery and you stick it on your tongue and you get that little zap? Mm-hmm. Well, it's a little bit stronger than that. He's, he's it's enough to curl your hair, though. Yeah. No, not enough to curl your hair, but uh, enough that... It's painful. It can remove warts. <laughs> okay, so here's what we do. We ask five questions, right? Chad's okay. looking at me like, what the hell are you at now? You're a <laughs> twisted individual. <laughs> we hook up the, the power line to the telephone, you see? We ask five questions. If they get the answer right, no problem. If they get the answer wrong, we zap them. Zappo. What a nice thing to do first thing well, in the morning, Audie. It's, what a guy. It's shock therapy. It's, <laughs> it's a way to get the brain going on a Monday morning. And remove your warts. Of and can yes. remove warts. Perfect. <laughs> <laughs> you know who I thought would be a perfect candidate for this? Who? And Chad will, will know all about this. Chad our park. Yes, he's got the big L up on the forehead there. Tevi. Tevi. I met Tevi. Tev- yes, yeah. our loyal listener slash loser. <laughs> In unison there. Thank you very much. Yeah. So we get a call from Tevi this morning. I'm sure he'd be willing to p- play this game. It, it, Tev, it'll be fun and, and only slightly painful. Okay? <laughs> 451 888. Well, I don't have to tell Tevi what the phone line is. He knows what it is. 451 all eights. 14 minutes before 7. 
14 before 7. Yes, good morning, Power 92. It's Audie and Diane. Hi, could you guys play that blonde song? Ooh. Okay, who's this? It's Kimberly. Kimberly? Yeah. Are you a blonde? Yeah. Are you? Yeah. Are you teased about it? Pardon? Are you teased about it? Uh. <laughs> Do you fit into the stereotype of blondes? Uh, sometimes. Laugh for us. Laugh it's for us. It, huh? Laugh for us. <laughs> Uh, I borderline yeah. blonde. Borderline blonde. <laughs> <laughs> Go to the sunshine, girl. Chad says that she has wonderful aspirations. Okay. Uh, I'm oh. looking. Uh, I'm looking. <laughs> Can you see <laughs> both of her aspirations? Oh, oh, you mean what she wants to be? Yeah. She wants to be a bartender. Uh. You are a blonde, aren't you? <laughs> Power 92, the blonde song. Nine minutes before 7 o'clock, I got Chad over here trying to trying to adjust my microphone. We've got these, uh, these wind things so that we don't pop our peas. And he's putting a brand new one on because the other one was drooping. And he was popping. Yeah. I, nobody likes to droop or pop in the morning, no. do they? No. Nine minutes before 7, Power 92 satellite weather. Cloudy periods today up to 6 degrees for a high minus 4 tonight. And more clouds tomorrow, high of zero. Flurries falling by tomorrow night. Right now, it's minus three. Okay, and we go over to the studio lines. We have uh, our uh, loyal loser, Tebby, on the line. Where, which line was Tebby on? <laughs> Did you see? There are some technical difficulties here Hold this on, morning. Hold on, just, just a second. We'll go here and I'll, I'll just find out. Hi, good morning, Power 92. You're not Tebby, are you? Uh, no, I'm not. It's we. <laughs> oh, hi. Hold on, because we got to find Tebby. We'll okay. Talk, we'll talk to you in a moment. Okay. Hi, good morning, Power 92. Are you Tebby? Nope. Oh. Do you want to play the game anyway? Sure. Okay, well, I'll tell you what. I don't have a wart. I got a cold sore. Oh! <laughs> I, don't, I don't know if this will zap off cold sores. Tell you guys just a little bit more than we need to know. Okay, well, just a second. Because, well, hold on, just a sec. Is that Tebby over there, Chad? Tebby's on too. Tebby's on, on too. Tebby, you are a loser. You hung up on us. Hello, Tev? Tev, are you there? Tev? Yeah, you hung up on me. No, I didn't hang up on you. <laughs> it was not his fault. You forgot that we were in the middle of a conversation, and you just hung up on us. <laughs> I didn't hang up on you. Yes, you did, Tev. You, you put me on hold, and then I heard a click. Okay, well, here. I'll tell you what. Here's the way we're going to play the game, all right? Okay. This is real simple. we got five questions. All you have to do is get uh, three out of the five, and we'll give you a prize, all right? Okay. Which is something you don't normally get. You... <laughs> Don't yep. listen to him, Diane. He's lying. Oh, it's <laughs> the truth. It's the truth. <laughs> but if you don't get the answer right, what we're going to do is send a, a little current through the line, all right? Because uh -huh. we got Lester, our part-time engineer, to hook it up. Nice. It's only uh, 60 volts. Cool. But you really want to feel it uh, full force. What you got to do, put your tongue on the uh, the receiver there. Okay. Put your tongue on there. Uh-huh. Now put it on, Tev. Uh-huh. Do you have your tongue on, uh, your tongue on the receiver? Uh-huh. Okay. Now feel this, bud. <laughs> yeah, okay. I'll be louder. You are a loser, aren't you? <laughs> okay, here we go. First question, Diane. Okay, it's white and fluffy, and you buy it at the theater. You got three seconds. One, two, three. Popcorn. Oh, Too I late. Mm. Oh, I thought you go one, two, three, and answer. Uh, no. <laughs> See, now you know. Anybody who's listening, why, why we say Tev is our loyal, no. loyal loser. He's a nice guy, but a little slow upstairs. Okay, oh. Tev, second question. Okay. You get three seconds to answer it, all right? Don't wait till we count to all three. All right, all right. Okay. <laughs> Tev, yeah. if the digital readout on your VCR is flashing, what does it mean? One, two. It's working. Hello. <laughs> the power was out, bud. Oh, Diane. Go ahead, Diane. Okay, it's sometimes referred to as the boob tube. What is it? One, two. Oh, oh. Tebby. Tebby. I don't know. I can't. Are all your words? I'm gonna off? turn my phone up. Turn your phone up. Yeah. How is that gonna help your brain capacity? Well, because I can barely hear you guys. Right. Okay. Well, that's, you know, Actually, good reason. You see, you've blown all three questions already, Tev. What? Well, but I, I could have gotten one of them. Okay, I'll tell you what. We'll give you another one, all right? <laughs> okay. Just one more, just to see if you can do it, all right? Okay. What kind of a dog was Rin Tin Tin, Teddy? Oh. Oh, one. I don't know. Take a guess, I, bud. I never watch Rin Tin Tin. <laughs> a poodle, I don't know. Uh, a poodle hanging around with the cavalry. I don't think so, bud. Good try, though, Teddy. He was a How German shepherd. 
Oh, I feel... These Re- guys make me feel terrible this morning. Refreshed? Do you feel refreshed? Yeah. Do you feel better? Oh, yeah. So we've helped you out. Oh, sure. Uh, do we have, you have a good day anyway. Do we, okay. do we have any kind of a console? No, nah, he doesn't oh. deserve a consolation. <laughs> oh. But thank you for calling, Tev. Okay. Okay. Bye. See you later, bud. Bye. <laughs> Want to do hot and cool connects? Hot beats, cool treats. CKNG FM Edmonton, 100,000 watts at 92.5 megahertz. Power 92. It's Monday. <laughs> Monday sucks. Monday sucks. I hate Monday because Monday sucks. Tuesday, Wednesday, go by fast. Thursday, Friday are easy to pass. Friday the weekend is here at last, but Monday sucks. Yeah. Monday sucks. sucks. Monday sucks. After hit, song after song, day after day, Power 92 plays the most music. Morning at 7.08, Audie and Diane, Power 92 satellite weather. Cloudy periods today up to 6 degrees for a high. It's currently minus 3 in Edmonton. Here's Sophie B. Hawkins. Power 92, Sophie B. Hawkins. Damn, I wish I were your lover. 12 minutes after 7. It's Audie Lynn's Diane Brittany. Power 92 satellite weather looks like... Looks pretty good. A few cloudy periods today up to 6 degrees for a high. Minus 4 tonight. More cloud tomorrow. High of 0. And flurries falling by tomorrow night. Right now it's minus 3. Still to come this morning with Audie and Diane. Uh, who dat? And listen for the sounds of the uh, football sound effects. And also the official birthday list at 750. That's who we got on here. Prince Charles is 46 today. McLean Stevenson is 65. Brian Keith is 73. So if you know somebody with a birthday or an anniversary, you can get them in right now. Studio line to call for that is 468-9200. Also, a brand new, never heard before episode of Mom and Pa Regular coming up in about, ooh, seven minutes time. Music. Power 92. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. The radio station you've been praying for. Power 92, it's boys to men on bended knee. 19 minutes after 7 with Audie Lenz and Diane Brittany. What are you laughing about over there, chat? Nothing. 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 Just What's keeping so things, funny? Just keeping things quiet. Can I have some of that when you're finished? <laughs> <laughs> Power 92 satellite <laughs> weather calling for some cloudy periods around us today and tonight. About a 6 for a high, uh, minus 4 for a low tonight. And currently sitting, are we at minus 3, Diane? Minus 3, that's Minus it. 3 degrees in the capital city. Power 92!